So how's things, boxer? Yeah, all good, man. You know, just yeah. living, surviving. Jay's Barbers in Birmingham is at the heart of the community. You must get it all coming through these doors, Jay. We get all sorts coming through these doors, so they feel better when they, they talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A report out today says people like Jay should be harnessed and trained <laughs> to help spread public health messages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay is a good listener and is, is a guy that gives gives good advice. It's true, man. It's true. I'm not just a barber. A barber slash therapist. Slash yes. agony <laughs> and slash <laughs> consultant. Oh, gosh. <laughs> The vision is a public health workforce of millions of people like Jay. Who wants that? <laughs> there are 15 million people in the UK who have the opportunity to help and support, improve and protect, actually, Out the public Out in communities health. like this, Out not in, like in the doctor's surgeries, no. not in the hospitals. No, people in all sorts of occupations that you might not actually think of. Some will say, shouldn't we just spend more on allowing the professionals to do their job? Well, I don't think this is about doing it on the cheap. It's about who's actually in the community talking to people. Do you see the same faces over and over again? In this city centre bookmakers, Alex tells me he's talking to regular clients on a regular basis. Yeah, I do consider a lot of people here like good, good friends. And so if someone opened up to me, then, then that's something that I've, I've got to respect and, and deal with, yeah. Amongst his customers today is Simon. He tells me he's homeless, a paranoid schizophrenic, a manic depressive. You pop in and out of here regularly. I mean, the people yeah. you see here, mm -hmm. do you see them more than your GP? Yeah. Do you ever see a GP? Mm, no. Three grand. The company say they already train staff to help clients with mental health issues, exactly the kind of help the report calls for much more of. I've got to say, Alex, that There'll be people watching who think the last place I want to take mental health advice from is the bookies. Sure, I mean, we're not saying that we're doctors or we're qualified to actually fix the problem. What we're saying is because of the relationship that lots of our customers have with the staff, they can provide information, they can provide signposts and point them in the direction of where they will get that advice. This is big society for the health sector. Karen, who works for a local social enterprise here in Birmingham, believes it will work. There's a real good community spirit and, and if you're working in the communities, people want to help each other um, and uh, feel more comfortable with a familiar face. But the big society idea comes after big cuts. 200 million was recently sliced off the public health budget. Sources within the NHS told me this is a cheap alternative to a professional service. Report authors, though, say it is recognition the NHS can no longer do it all. Jamie Cobb in BBC News.